Businesses like Fuel Cycle Fitness and Ardmore have had to reinvent themselves to stay afloat since the shutdown was announced one month ago today. One, two. It was very chaotic, right? Because all of a sudden it was just everyone has to shut down. A month ago, the announcement that non essential businesses had to close hit many like a shockwave. For me, it was really important to keep my community together. And that right right came from giving people a place to go, a way to feel healthy, a way to feel strong. And I felt like I really couldn't abandon my, my two, people. One, two, so Fuel Cycle five, Fitness owner Jen five, Crompton five, hit back. Three. Not only is she keeping her core clients two, active, one, she's reaching new fitness one, fanatics one, with her right, online right, classes and one on one video training. Five. It's been Really awesome to have classes where I have anywhere between 20 and 60 people who get to log on. Um, I've reconnected with people from high school, people from college who could never physically get here to take my classes. Now they can take them online. Down the street, gift shop Pucci Manuli is bringing the brick and mortar shopping experience to their customers virtually with what they call Shop the Shop. Well, Wendy, welcome to Shop the Shop. I'm Annie. Um, and I'll take you around. On March 13th, Pucci Manuli made a conscious decision to shut their doors to make sure they weren't responsible for spreading even a single case of the virus. We wanted to make sure we were doing the right thing. So Annie so, Robinson now walks yeah, the shop with customers here. via video. This is our space table. To so give them the feeling they're right there inside the store with her. We can talk in real time. And I can show you and describe to you what I'm holding. You can see the size of a product. And as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. So whether it's working out online or shopping online, both of these businesses say they'll likely keep the virtual component even after the shutdown has lifted. In Ardmore, I'm Wendy Saltzman, NBC 10 News.